All right, everybody, I want to go over a brand new Cabral concept. We've got a big topic here today. It is the toxins in tap water and the corresponding cities. We'll see if your city is named that the forever chemicals called PFAS have been elevated and now finally, finally recognized by the U.S. government as a problem, potentially cancer causing and could be one of the many reasons why cancer is now on the rise and is greater, unfortunately, than ever in our population. So I want to share with you right now, and this article um, is actually excellent. It's on um, Dr. Axe's website. Uh, I'll actually be doing an interview with Dr. Axe in just a few weeks from now that'll be released. But I want to go into it, then I want to help make a little bit more sense of it, and then just give you a really simple recommendation so that you and your family never need to worry about these forever chemicals ever again. All right, so if you've never heard about forever chemicals, we're going to go into this. They're literally invisible. They're in your water, but they've been recognized by the Environmental Working Group for a long time. They've been recognized by the U.S. government now for about five years, but finally now uh, talked about and being limited by our current uh, government. So let's get into it right now. So the first of a kind analysis using data from municipal water supplies all over the United States, the Environmental Working Group, the EWG, you hear me talk about the EWG all the time, meaning like the Environmental Working Group, a nonprofit that shares with you all the different toxins in the environment. It's where I get the data for the Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen. Uh, it's how I... It's not the only place, of course, but it's one of those places that's trying to do good work in the world. And I always love to be able to call out the good work that people are doing. All right. So the EWG found widespread tap water toxicity, including known and suspected cancer causers in 2019. Now, in 2024, the U.S. government has finally taken action. On April 10th of this year, the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, announced that the administration for this current government, finalized the nation's first drinking water standard to protect specifically against PFAS pollution, PFAS. This comes nearly five years after the EWG analysis that revealed some alarming information. For instance, some of the common contaminants identified by the EWG in the report include radioactive compounds, brain-disrupting pesticides, heavy metals like arsenic, and carcinogens and forever chemicals such as the PFAS contamination. The report highlighted the fact that the EPA hadn't set new tap water standards in almost 20 years. That's hundreds of thousands of new chemicals in the environment, and they still hadn't done anything. In fact, some standards were more than four decades old. In January of 2020, newly results released found PFAS contamination in drinking water is actually worse than we originally thought. For the first time, PFAS chemicals turned up in drinking water sources of uh, major U.S. cities, confirming the U.S. had been grossly underestimating the threat from this cancer-linked chemical that doesn't seem to break down. Forever chemicals literally are chemicals in our water that never break down. So they're always in the environment. We consume them. We rely on our liver, kidneys, and other detox-based methods to get rid of them. I'll share uh, a way that we can eliminate them um, from water in just a moment. PFAS is a group of hundreds of compounds, some of which are extensively used in firefighting foams, utilized at airports and military installations. In the home, it's found in nonstick cookware, stain-resistant clothing, furniture, carpeting, water-resistant products. It's linked to the development of cancer, abnormal fetal development, and is reduced and a reduced effectiveness uh, of certain medications. While filtration can be helpful, it depends in a variety of factors, it depends on a variety of factors, including what type of PFAS chemical you're dealing with, what, what other methods water treatment plants use, and more. Some are removed by activated charcoal, while reverse osmosis water filters, uh, although more expensive, um, are believed to be the most effective. And then I'm gonna keep it at there, what I want to share with you, though, is that clearly we know that this is a widespread issue. The government can no longer overlook it, as they've been doing for the past five years of clinical data, thanks to nonprofits like EWG and the now release of 31 states plus the District of Columbia that are high in PFAS in these major cities. Let's go over those right now. Brunswick County, North Carolina. Quad Cities, Iowa, Miami, Florida, Bergen County, New Jersey, Wilmington, North Carolina, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 
Louisville, Kentucky, New Orleans, Louisiana, Charleston, South Carolina, Decatur, Alabama. I apologize. That's probably not the correct pronunciation. Washington, D.C., Prince George County, Maryland, Rockingham County, New Hampshire, Columbus, Ohio, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Atlanta, Georgia, Indianapolis, Indiana, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota, Chicago, Illinois, Cincinnati, Ohio, Columbia, Missouri, Kansas City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, San Antonio, Texas, St. Louis, St. Louis Kentucky, uh, County, uh, Missouri, St. Louis, Las Vegas, Nevada, Nashville, Tennessee, Omaha, Nebraska, Birmingham, Alabama, Kansas City, Kansas, Jackson, Mississippi, Tulsa, Oklahoma, St. Charles County, Missouri, New York City, New York, El Paso County, Colorado, Colorado Springs, Colorado, Sacramento, California, Little Rock, Arkansas, Memphis, Tennessee, Seattle, Washington, and Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And again, we ended with one. I don't know if it's pronounced correctly. What I wanted to share with you, though, is this. These are just the major cities and counties that were tested. It unfortunately is likely that my tap water and your tap water is contaminated to some degree with these forever chemicals. These forever chemicals came from man-made carcinogens and toxins that have now been linked to cancer-causing effects. It's one of the reasons why I've been saying now for more than a decade, we need to take detoxification seriously. Yes, our liver is always detoxifying. But from all the studies I've shared with you, those toxins end up in the brain. They end up in our fat cells. They end up in the plaque in our arteries from things like micro and nanoplastics. It's our job, hopefully on a daily basis, to not put them in our body in the first place as best of our ability. And then also do a functional medicine detox quarterly. And as much as we can, sauna sweating on a near daily basis. But... If, it's, if a lot of these are coming from flame retardants and nonstick cookware, we try to eliminate those, right? One by one. I have great resources, great companies at stephencabal.com slash resources. But also, this is why I made the switch as well. Because although it takes a lot of minerals out of the water too, you can remineralize the water, I switched over to a reverse osmosis filter. It is truly the only way to know that your water is completely filtered. It really is. I loved the Berkey, and I still have the Berkey, so no, uh, you know, no shade to them. Uh, it is there in case there's ever a power outage. That's the truth, because reverse osmosis doesn't work without electricity. Like it's just not going to happen, right? So like we need that uh, if you have an on top of the counter one. And so I try to just keep a one as a backup. But I'll tell you this. Reverse osmosis now allows me the peace of mind that all the fluoride's been filtered out, the chlorine's been filtered out, the heavy metals are filtered out, and these PFAS chemicals. So although I never tell anyone what to do, I always share what I do for myself, my two daughters, my little dog, Bachi, and what I make for recommendations in my private practice. So I don't play favorites. I don't own any of these companies at stephencabral.com slash resources. The only company that I formulate for that I'm a founder of is Equalife. That's it. The other companies, amazing companies. And for the most part, I'm always recommending uh, just best in class. That's it. So I recommended the Berkey. That's what I did. Still a great filter. I'm not saying it's not. But then I said, you know what? This is a little bit more, you know, intrusive. I put mine under the sink and under the sink uh, filter, but it's worth it. Because the bottom line is we need to have clean air. This is why I recommend air filters. We need to have clean water. That's why I recommend the reverse osmosis and the shower filters. And we need clean food. As much as we can, pesticide-free organic food to the best of our ability. Right? That's it. To the best of our ability. We can only do our best. That's all. Then we start to focus on the pans we cook with and all of those other different items. So that's that. I can link up my favorite reverse osmosis, osmosis filter for you uh, at today's uh, link, which is stephencabral.com slash 3021. And I'll also recommend, which I'll do a separate show on in the future, a hydrogen water, molecular hydrogen water ionizer, which can actually add more hydrogen and antioxidants to your water. 
Now, of course, that's not a prerequisite. First, you start with a good water filter, but if you wanna invest in both, you can obviously invest in both, and I'll link those up as well. Head on over to stephencabral.com slash 3021 for these couple of resources and the three big takeaways from today's show. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'll talk with you soon. Of course, let us know if there's any questions. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.